Hello and welcome to Ever Improving Me Advice with a Slice of Life 2.0 I guess because I am starting it over. I took down all the old videos because they were, well the quality wasn't so good and also let's face it I look totally different now. Uh, hmm. So it's been a while. Let's get reacquainted. I'm Johanna. How are you? Okay, this is the part where you should answer. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. You don't say. You should probably put some cream on that or something. Maybe go to the doctor. I don't know. Uh, oh, that wasn't supposed to say that out loud. Sorry. Okay, well, back to the advice then. Um. <laughs> Cheeky little bastard, aren't I? So... I wanted to talk about some real things that I, I don't know that I'm going to get into it right now, but I, what I kind of wanted to set the stage. I really want to start discussing some, th some things that are real. I want to get a little real with everybody. I want to start talking about some perceptions that we may not even be aware of that are kind of hurtful. To, a lot of people without, a, and we don't even realize maybe how hurtful they can be. Or we don't even realize how negative they are. Uh, uh, for instance, I went to a comedy show last night and, you know, I thought it would be great. I thought it was going to be funny. Yay, comedy. I love comedy. I think we all love to laugh. Um, but while I'm sitting there, I'm listening to it and I hear people laughing. So I, I think it had to have been funny. I do. But most of the humor was based off of someone's looks, someone's ethnicity, someone's sexual preference, or a combination of those three things. And I just couldn't help but think, can't we as a people dig a little deeper for our humor? Are we still so at the point of pointing and laughing at other people who are different? I don't know, I just, I couldn't, I, it just wasn't funny to me. It's just not funny to me. And then earlier, well, I've had several conversations lately. I'll probably get into those a bit later. I don't know how long this is going to go, actually. Uh, and actually seems to be my new favorite word, actually. Actually. So, oh, this is my new bow tie, see? Uh, it also makes a nifty hair bow, but in case you need the bow tie effect, uh, yeah, clip on hello. Do I look like I can tie a bow tie? Well, thank you for that confidence. Yes, yes I can, but it's so much easier this way. Okay, I can't tighten it, but here we go. Let's put that a little higher. Ta-da! I went to the Pride Festival yesterday. So much fun. Oh my goodness. If you have not been to a Pride Festival, let me tell you, you don't know what you're missing. Because that is like, I don't know, the San Diego Pride Festival. Beautiful, wonderful. I had so much fun. It was a blast. I got a lot of good information on some stuff I wanna do. Uh, I wanna open a nonprofit. That is a long, long, long-term goal. I want to have a safe house for homeless and transient at-risk youth. Focusing on the LGBT community, um, specifically, you know, LGBT and transgender youth. Um, mostly because over 40% of the homeless in this country, homeless youth, are of that category, but I think any homeless youth are a horrible problem that we need to face in this country. But that's, you know, long term. Uh, that, but I'm not going to turn away any kids that if I can help it. So it's going to have to be pretty big. You know, uh, the, the goal is not just a safe house, but like a working ranch farm uh, where kids can come you know, have like bunk style beds, we'll have to have, of course, lots of people, lots of adults, you know, supervision, funding, 
uh, you know, where they can come get a sense of pride, learn some skills to help them survive and, you know, survive in life, feel better about themselves, get a sense of accomplishment, sense of pride, learn how to be better people, probably learn some good coping skills that they didn't learn at home, maybe finish up their, you know, high school GEDs or high school education, if, or go on to college, you know, help maybe find funding for that too. You know, I want to be able to focus on a whole range of, you know, resources for them, long range. Short term, I'm still working that out. But I got some information on volunteering at a nonprofit to start helping out and also to start learning the ins and outs of a nonprofit. So I'm pretty happy about that. So I also got to run into, I ran into a friend of mine. So that was good. Hi, Ben. Okay. So I had to say hi. And I took some great pictures, met some awesome people, ate some good food. It was just a really good vibe. It was a lot of fun. So if you ever get the chance to go to the San Diego Pride Festival, I really recommend it. Let's see. Moving back to what I was talking about before. Perceptions and um, judging. Judging. Let's go with that. We judge all the time. Everybody does. I judge. You judge. Your kindergarten teacher judges. Your Sunday school teacher judges. Your bank person judges. Your checkout girl at the grocery store, she's judging you. The dog walker, he judges you. Everybody's judging. Everybody. The thing that we have to realize is those judgments, they happen like that. So quickly. So quickly. Usually from a lifetime of different places. We have to accept those judgments, say, okay, yes, that just happened. However, I don't have to stick with that judgment. I can actually take the time, get to know this person, and go from there. Because I am not a creature of instincts. I'm a creature of logic and emotion and instincts and reasoning. So many things go into making me the person that I am. I am more than instincts, so I am more than judgments, right? Right, okay, everybody's following good. So, what I'd really like for everybody to do is this week when you're out there and you catch yourself judging because you're going to, just try to be aware of it, you know, try to be aware of your judging and try to say, okay, I remember Johanna said this is going to happen because we all judge, we do, we all judge. And just try to say, okay, let's try to see if I can get to know this person anyway. Right? For instance, here's a here's a, a place. Our roommate grew up in an inner city, inner city, New York City. I grew up in Hicksville everywhere in the deep, deep, deep south. You think that the two of us would have nothing in common, nothing to talk about, right? Well, think about it for a minute. You'd be wrong. We actually found common ground on so many places because people are people. And even though our backgrounds are so different, there was a lot of similarities. And we're both, we both grew up extremely resilient and we're both very strong, tough people, right? So, two people from entirely different backgrounds can find common ground. So next time you think that you have nothing in common with a person, why don't you take the time to find out what you do have in common? Okay, until next time, this is Johanna, Ever Improving Me, Advice with a Slice of Life, video blog, and send me your comments, questions, concerns, Ever Improving Me, Advice, blog, at gmail.com.
Thank you. Mm, bye.